My name is Imar Hutchins. My grandfather was Lyman T. Johnson, who sued for admission in 1949 and became the first black student here. And I just was commissioned by UK to create a portrait of my grandfather that's going to reside in the residence hall named after him. You know, I'm very proud of it. You know, I think it's a, a special piece of art. I was using the materials, paint, paper, also archival imagery, photography, and is uh, bringing those things together to make a kind of not just portrait in terms of how someone looks, but adding in information which is about who they are. The name of the piece is, I lived half of my life in the darkness and half in the light. And this is what he used to say at the end of his life, roughly 45 years in each. What he's saying is that he lived to see the same, you know, kind of power structure that threatened his very life naming schools and streets and things after him. So the piece, when you look at it from a distance, you know, it's bright yellow. It's almost as if he's bathed in light and you know, like squinting at the, at the light. So he's in the light. But when you get closer, upon closer examination, you see that it's all made up of hate mail and death threats that he got. And the most vile and vicious things that you can imagine are what make it up. So it's about how he transformed hate into love. It rewards you upon very close inspection because at 10 feet, five feet, you're not gonna read the information, the letters, the, in some cases, very um, troubling uh, language related to race and identity. And I think what the work addresses in a way is the frame of mind and sets of experiences of the period in which this person lived. Showing this hate mail is just an example of telling what happened. Not saying what happened doesn't change the fact that it happened, you know, but maybe saying it allows people to learn from it. So I think when you see and know the history of this person, you know he navigated this with great thought, great grace. Um, it's an interesting role model for us to look at how we conduct ourselves, you know, with ethics and morality and, and uh, generosity. So I like to think of it as it's commemorative, but it's also a kind of challenge. I think I learned something about his, um, you know, how steadfast he had to be. What he's kind of challenging us to do, you know, is to like rise above it, right? So how could someone endure all these things, you know, and not be hard-hearted like the person who might have done it? Some of the stuff on the pieces from the 70s, 80s, you know, it's not, and I have stuff to be from the 90s, so it's not ancient history by any means, but he still, you know, maintained his spirit uh, despite all that.